Hey guys, today I'm going to review the LEGO Set 5886 T-Rex Hunter. This was released in January 2012, has 480 pieces, and was released for $70. So instead of going over the minifigures, I'll just go over the big dino and go over the minifigures with the builds. So here's the T-Rex, and of course it's a pretty well done mold. This is the first year we got this mold, and we did get it in the $100 set, which I might review sometime in the future. But overall, it's a nice build for it. Uh, it has about 8 pieces. Uh, different various limbs, you can kind of move it side to side, also you can move it upside down. You can pose the legs up and down individually, move the arms, the tail can even rotate. Awesome printing, and of course we didn't get another one of these in a cheap set like this, not really even cheap, this is a $70 set, but we got another one in like 2015. But this is the exclusive printing for this one, that's cool, that's what the underbelly looks like. And overall just some nice printing, of course you can stand it up and rotate the head, just a well done mold. And you can also... It goes with this claw here, which you can use to grab the T-Rex. Of course, it has studs underneath, so you can kind of latch them on top here, and you can latch onto the T-Rex, and you can move its arms up and grab it. And of course, I'll show you how that works with the main build of the set. The set here also goes with this rover, which is, of course, kind of attached on with this back part. You can detach. And of course, this can kind of go be detached back on. But this has a main weapon on the back here. Of course he's holding one as well, but a pair of binoculars is very just a standard build, but of course it just kind of works well for what it's supposed to do. And of course you also have this build, which has a crate on it, and you of course attach that back on, and inside is a camera, a build for one, not just a kind of regular camera piece. So of course I guess you can use that to kind of take pictures of whatever. Of course that's a hook piece, and I'll show you how that works on with the main helicopter build. But it's a very standard build, for but for 2012 this is a kind of you know, kind of standard kind of side build. So here's the build for the helicopter. This thing is actually quite large. I love how kind of long it is. And in general, I just love the design of this thing. It looks really well done. I think it's a much very unique design for just an, an overall helicopter because a lot of them in LEGO are very the same, especially with LEGO City right now. But this is a unique build along with the yellow, which I usually don't like in LEGO for like builds, not for minifigures. I like them for minifigures, but for builds, but it look, works well here with all the other colors, including the uh, dark red, which works really well. So first, for the cockpit, there's a wheel under here, which of course sticks out, but I think that works well because it kind of levels it out. Some nice printing overall. I'm not printing, but kind of like stickers. And of course, you can move this whole canopy up. You can fit a minifigure here, but I'm sure you can maybe you can squeeze another two in there. And of course, here's a kind of control panel and a joystick, and you can just fit them back in there. But there's quite a bit of room in here. And of course you can close that back down. It's kind of six wide inside and then overall eight wide. And this uses some kind of Technic pieces to kind of latch on here. You have these kind of uh, stickered on Technic-ish pieces. Of course that's kind of what the back looks like for that. But overall nice design for that. At the top you have the engines which of course latch on. You also have the main rotor here which is pretty large. You can spin that around. Of course you have six and yeah that kind of latches on well. You also can hold it from the back. I mean, of course, these rotors might get in the way, but you can maybe hold it underneath here. And this is kind of how it looks. You have the two back wheels, which, of course, you know, can, you can roll this thing around. You can actually kind of move this like a car or something. And these are pretty sizable kind of builds. You of course, have the back rotor and the sticker. And underneath, this is what it kind of looks like. And, of course, I'll show you that chain works. But overall, kind of nice design for that. You kind of... These are kind of angled at a side here and kind of do that. Now, of course, this chain isn't able to move up or anything. There's no kind of crank on it, but of course, you can still kind of move stuff on it. So you can take a crate here and you can just kind of latch it on there and kind of lift the helicopter up to kind of move it. You can kind of angle it that way. There we go. You kind of lift it up. So that's how that works, but of course, that's the only thing you can lift up in this set because as I showed you before, you have the T-Rex and you can of course kind of hatch onto that. Kind of, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but you can kind of see the idea. There we go. And of course you can lift that up. I mean, you can't really set it down on the ground too well, but you can try. And of course this still looks well done. You can still fit the T-Rex underneath it. It's just you can't really latch onto it. It still is kind of hooked on there though, which works well. 
Overall, this is a pretty well done set, even though it could be seen as overpriced at the piece count, but the pieces are pretty big and the T-Rex is well to get to get, since you really couldn't have gotten him only in the cheapest set here. So thank you guys for watching this review, and bye guys.